because it's all I want to do. Like, did you think it was wrong of me to ridicule Obama during his press conference? Now, many of you will say, no, I loved it, Mike. But there are actually people out there who say I insulted the office of the presidency and I had no right to do it. Well, they're wrong. Why shouldn't you insult the office of the presidency when the president himself has insulted the office of the presidency more, more so than I could ever do? He insults the office of the presidency every day by making it about himself and failing the American people. And secondly, if I only did it to Obama, you would maybe have a, a, a scintilla of a point. But I've been doing this for 21 years. I've ridiculed, I think I ridiculed Nixon. I'm joking. Nixon was not in office when I started. I certainly ridiculed Bush when he gave press conferences. If I see a BS, it's my job to, uh, to get up here as an entertainer, educator, and uh, do my shtick. I did it, uh, you know, I did it to Nick Nixon. I almost said Nixon again. Who was the last president? Bush. Bush. Was it Bush or Nixon? I don't remember. With the victory f fingers. I confused them with the victory symbol. Where is Bush now? He's probably making a good buck giving a lecture tour. Bumbling his way around the world. <laughs> Going around giving talks to the church groups. Synagogues. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the former president of the United States, George W. Bush. I want to hear... <laughs> And he brings out like a little vial of weapons of mass destruction. He shows them a little tiny vial of the fluid proving that there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Why would anyone pay for it to go to a speech like that over? I can imagine a rubber chicken dinner somewhere at a rotary club. I'm not jealous. I don't give speeches. I'm going to start giving. Uh, no, I'm not going to give away my the store. I'm going to do speeches in a new way soon where I don't even have to travel, where I can continue to sit alone in a room with no lights on. At night. <laughs> like the shooter. What is that? Is there something wrong with sitting in a room alone at night with only one light on? They said that that's what the shooter did. He was a loner and he wouldn't talk to his neighbors. That's a plus as far as I can tell. Who wants to talk to their neighbors when they're hypocrites? Uh, how was the garbage pickup this morning? Not bad. Did you hear the noise of that garbage truck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they take everything out of your can? Well, really, they left a few napkins on the bottom of the garbage can. That's what I want to talk to my neighbor about? Okay, I don't want it. All the calls are about Obama now. Okay, let me take one about Obama. Joe on WMAL, what's on your mind? Go ahead, please. Oh, the Joe, th yeah, yeah, you're on the radio. Go ahead. What we're talking about, President Say Obama. something already so I can eat my fruit salad. Tell me when you're going to start. Joe, you're on the radio. Go ahead. Now I can eat a piece of cantaloupe. Go ahead talking you can't hear me yeah thank you unbelievable they won't even play ball with me now i'm stuck talking with cantaloupe in my mouth you know live radio is difficult enough i'm eating a piece of fruit i thought the guy would talk and i'm stuck now talking with cantaloupe in my mouth let's try john wbob john welcome to the show hey dr savage i appreciate the time you know, this double talker just finished saying how he is so upset with American violence, yet he tells us to open our arms to those south of the border. <laughs> Guatemala, 36 violent murders a day. El Salvador, 48 violent murders a day. Honduras, 40 violent murders a day. And yet Are you talking about Oakland, California, or Honduras? Where, where, what are you referencing, Chicago or Honduras or, or Guatemala? It sounds like lower levels than in, than in Chicago. But those are the ones he's embracing and bringing in. Well, sure. How else to make an omelet but to break a few eggs? So he Look, we know he's a we know he's a, he's a hypocrite. We understand that, and he hates America. Everyone knows that. Who sees his, his history? The man hates the country, hates the country's foundings. What more needs to be said than has already been said? The man is a rolling disaster. All right, I I don't want to do Obama bashing. It's too obvious. And we don't have to do it. Every time he speaks, he looks like he's bashing himself. Can we move on beyond, let's say, the Russia? The, no, let's do a Russia call. Lou on WABC, Russia call. Go ahead, please. Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Savage. I think uh, we're, we're being a little too naive uh, if, if we believe that Putin uh, would give the United States only one hour notice uh, to not to not fly against his uh, air, air, air force. Uh, to me, it sounds like this was already set up with uh, Iran, uh, Putin, and, uh, and the U.S. 
because one mistake in the entire U.S. Uh, you know, uh, opinion would turn against Putin. So I, I, I'm not sure if, uh, if indeed that was, uh, was something that was such a... Well, that's interesting. I don't think it's an implausible suggestion. How's that for high class? I don't think you're, you're, you're saying, I think, I don't think that's an, I'm sounding like a diplomat now. I don't think that's an implausible suggestion. That's so not me to say that, but I don't think it's an implausible suggestion. In other words, maybe they did tell him behind closed doors, look, uh, Mr. Obama, we're going in and, um, but wait a minute, but an embarrassed Obama. So I don't know that that could be, that that's valid at all. I don't think he cares if he you know that Obama would never let anyone overtly embarrass him. He is absolutely not going to let that happen. He can't take it. He's too insecure for that. The is that uh, they hacked all the uh, emails. Who knows what they did behind closed doors? Do I know what all these actors on the world stage do? Do we really know what they do? What, what, what are they? Who knows what they worked out? What do I know? My right lung hurts me now from thinking about it. Probably the cold fruit salad after the taco. I'd like to know about Obama's diet, man. I'll tell you that I put on 10 pounds in the last month worrying about world events. I am. It's a shocker. I've been in a pretty steady weight for a long time. All of a sudden, in one month from all of the events, and I'm, I'm, I'm burning at a higher rate. I can tell you I'm burning at a higher octane rate than, than I have in a long time. I'm burning for three straight hours. I'm burning hot, and I'm gaining weight. It's got to be the diet. Got to be. I would like to know what Obama eats. I really would. I'd like the. Ob I think he can make a fortune as a uh, diet uh, book writer. After after, he'd do better writing diet books than he would running the world. He'd be happier too. Remember Richard Simmons? He can get a pink jumpsuit or a blue one. Do an exercise class. The Thin Man's Diet. Oh, I just gave away a fabulous idea. God, why do I talk out loud like this? I should have kept it for myself. I could have done a digital book, The Thin Man's Diet. Uh, someone's writing it already. They're calling agents in New York. Guarantee you. Bob, Bob, I have an idea for a book, The Thin Man's Diet, like you just thought it up. Great. Great. Write up a page, a proposal. Okay. It's genetic. What else is in the news? Uh, look at Scandinavia to see what's coming to America. Michael Savage new letter, newsletter. Let's see what's in Scandinavia, what I'm talking about. I'll read it to you. In today's issue, noting a remarkably candid TV interview with a Muslim leader in Norway who describes Islam as a political religion that is incompatible with Western civilization, Dr. S. told his listeners to look at the Scandinavian countries to see what's coming to America. Savage said, take a look at what's going on in a small country like Norway, and you'll know what liberals can do to a country. First, it was drugs, by the way. Long before the Muslims, liberals were the ones who put drugs into the arms of children in Norway. They took those beautiful Nordic people and they put heroin in their arms. That's what liberalism did. They argued for needle exchange programs. They argued for liberalization of drugs and sex, and they destroyed Norway. And then after they destroyed the very manhood, the very blood of Norway, what did they do next? Not only to Norway, but to all of the Scandinavian countries after they wrecked the manhood of those nations, in came the Muslims. They brought them in. And they didn't just bring in Muslims who wanted to be Norwegians. They brought in fanatical throwbacks who wanted to kill anybody who did not believe in their primitive view of the world. Same thing here. Happening right here. There are Muslims who know what ISIS represents to the world. They want to kill ISIS more than you do because they know them better than you do, but Obama's not bringing them in. This is the Savage Nation. You can find all of that on michaelsavage.com. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. It is an extremely complicated puzzle, this Syria business. And for anyone to pretend that they have the answer is ludicrous. The fact is that Assad's military has been shrinking, not only because many soldiers have been killed, but many have fled, They're leaving Syria. Many of the so-called refugees that are in Europe are former members of the Assad military, incidentally, by the way. And the fact of the matter is that when this is all over, and it will be over, incidentally, it will be over. There will be a political solution after Russia gains the foothold it wants and has a a power position from which to assert its interests 
at a bargaining table. There will be a settlement. I would envision a partition of Syria with Russia holding a large swath of the entire coastal region of Syria, along with the capital. And I don't think Assad's going to be there. I believe that they will so-called transition him out of office because of his lack of popularity. And they'll put uh, someone else in there who's more friendly to Russia. And there'll be other divisions, obviously. And if you look at a map of Syria, you can pretty much imagine that uh, Iran's going to take a good piece of Syria, incidentally. You look at ancient, ancient lines, territorial lines, and you can pretty much figure out who's going to get what. So Iran will take a piece. That's why they've moved troops in or will move troops in. I would suppose a piece of Iraq, uh, an expansion of Iraq could be seen possibly as well. And at the end of the day, maybe the people will be forced to come back from Europe and get them out of there. Because you cannot take in millions of refugees uh, with any degree of sanity or safety. And I think they're going to have to be repatriated to Syria once peace prevails and go back and rebuild their country. Can I direct you to the GoFundMe page for the, the Oregon hero? You can find it on michaelsavage.com right next to the government zero ad on michaelsavage.com. Send them 10 bucks. I don't get a dime of it. He's the hero. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Everything is gay. Every story, you have to, everything about the Pope, another story about a gay now. If I read about the Pope and Christianity, I have to read about a gay met him. Vatican disputes Davis accounts. He meets with the woman who was persecuted by the gay community. If they could have, they would have burned her alive. So the Vatican did one good thing on the trip. They had Schmendrick meet with her. Now they said that they didn't meet with her. Here's another story. Why are we giving health care for illegal aliens? Well, already in California, which is bankrupt, despite what Jerry Brown says, the state is bust. Will nation follow California on health care for immigrants here illegally? Why don't you just expand it to Mexico? Why don't you have sign-up clinics in Mexico and, and get everyone in Mexico to have free health care? That'll make all of the gangsters in the health industry very rich. Obama dumped Arnie Duncan. This is an interesting story. He was the worst education secretary in my lifetime. Why did they get rid of this creep? I don't know. Arnie Duncan, who on Friday was reported to be stepping down as Secretary of Education in December, blah, blah, blah. Why did they get rid of him? Does anyone know why they dumped this guy? States had to agree to a teacher evaluation system based on measures such as student standardized test scores. Oh, in other words, Arnie Duncan, as bad as he was, wanted, wanted the kids to pass at least the test. So that's why Obama got rid of him. Oh, and Duncan wanted more charter schools, and Obama can't have that because the, the charter schools are independently managed and exempt from some of the rules that govern traditional state schools. Duncan also promoted aggressive school turnarounds, which meant in many places replacing the entire staff at a school or closing a school with its union-represented workforce and replacing it with a charter school. So in other words, Arnie Duncan was not as bad as you would le le were led to believe, and Obama wanted to get rid of him because the unions wanted him out. And the, those who don't want the kids to know how to read, write, or add wanted him out. How do you like that? So I figured it out for you, but you're not interested in that. What a country we're living in. How can we, how can we live through another year with this man? The bottom line is, here it is before I go to the break. I had to wake up today and say, is Obama as bad as I think he is? The answer is definitively worse. And I had to say, okay, why do I say he's worse than I think he is all these years? Because you have to check yourself every time you say it. You have to say, are you really overreacting because you're a conservative and you want to appeal to your audience? Is he that bad or worse? Are you doing it because of race? We have to do it. We give this guy triple and quadruple benefits of the doubt. And every day he doesn't disappoint us. He's far worse than we imagined. Media war against Russia's airstrikes on ISIS aimed at ousting Russia for many, says the Russian news agency TASS. I put it on my site as well. You know why I had to go to TASS news agency? It's gone from the media. For two days, your doofus president had nothing to say about the greatest disaster in his life. His complete and total embarrassment. And then conveniently a shooting occurs in Oregon. Convenient for him, by the way. 
and he comes out on a tear against the Second Amendment, and, and the morons in the media drop the war. Neil Cavuto doesn't even know there's a war going on. No, they forgot already. All of the suits on Fox News are not covering the war anymore.